212, what's up, y'all? We are live. If you don't see the live stream, please refresh your screen, your browser. What's up, everybody? Quick roll call. Let me see who's in the house. BeatJunkies.tv, Sunday, 3 p.m. PST, event scratching. Shout out to Kratos, Akis, Alpha Hip Hop Slam, Buddy Lee, Cymatic, Jam Burglar, Mac Easy, Bear, Chris Cuts, Hugo V, Mr. DM, Rain Man, Series One, and Theory Act. What up, Theory Act? Hugo V, welcome back. What up, Theory Act? What's going on, y'all? You guys already know. Warm up. I'll do the scratch. You guys copy me. Here we go. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Clean stabs. A little bit quicker. One more time. Back transform. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go two forward, two back. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One in the house. Let's 
go four, four, four back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Combo, listen up. Go, chirps. Transforms, four, four, four back. Go. What up, seasick? Last one. That was round one with the warm up, running through uh, a lot of the foundation scratches. Let's uh, let's speed it up. Hold on. Play music. Let's see. All right, let's try a different beat now. All right. Rhythm scratch. Go. Open fader. Rhythm scratch. Go. One more time. Go. Add the fader now. Add the chirps. Short baby tips, open fader. Yep. Short baby tips. A little bit quicker. Go. Leave that fader open. Scratch, short baby tips. Go. Two more. Last one. Break, release, push. Here we go. Start with the break. 
Combo. Transforms. Start with that break. Three click transform, right? Reverse stabs. Go. Reverse stabs. Triplets. Go. Reverse stabs. One click flare. Yep. One click flare. A little bit quicker. Yep. Get it clean. Get it on beat. Click flare, push, one click flare, break. Alright, one click flare, low to high, here we go. go. One more time. One click flare, high or low. On the one click flare. Low to high. High to low now. Two click flare now. Two click flare. A little bit quicker. Two click flare. Rest. Rest. And go. Two more. Go. 
Last one. No rest now. You got this. Last one. All right, y'all, combo. Go. Push and break. Speed it up now, last round, round two. Let's see what beat this is. There it is, right here. Round three with the warm up. It's a workout, y'all. Tears, one forward, two back. One forward, two back, tear. Leave that fader open. Here we go. Two back tear down. True music. What's up, Al?
slow it down. Hold up. Mm. Half time, y'all. Same scratch. Two forward, two back. Clover Terrace. Here we go. now. that rest now. There we go. Two 
mismo. Alright y'all, low to high, crescent flares, here we go. When you're a round of applause for yourselves, that was the uh, the warm up right there. Let me see, Mr. DM saying I may have missed the crescent flare lesson. I feel like there's a definite difference between that and the one click flare. Looks like a phantom click. Definitely a big difference. Uh, crescent flare is very much like how you would start the OG flare, the original flare. Start with the fader open, and it's two clicks forward, but you you close the fader after that second note, like that, right? Just like the the OG flare. Right, that's that's the OG flare. Same same thing with the crescent. You start the same way, going forward, two notes, and then in reverse, you're gonna do a two-click transform and leave that fader open after that second note. So it's four notes total, two going forward, two going back, one, two, going forward, fader closed, right? I'm in the sound now. I'm gonna do a two-click transform in reverse and leave that fader open. <coughs> and then this repeats and it becomes an orbit. One, two, faders closed, three, four, faders open, right there. So it's a, just like the OG flare going forward. Then in reverse, I look at it like a two-click flare transform, and I leave that fader open. I don't close it, right there. And that's how you get that orbit effect. Theory Act is saying Crescent Flare. I'm still learning. I just learned when I when I joined. All good, man. Crescent Flare. It's tricky because a lot of people think it's a uh, transform, like two click forward, two click back transform, and it's not. It's a way easier way of getting <coughs> those same exact notes. You know what I mean? Um, and just doing less less work as far as a uh, fader movement right there. Definitely revisit the Crescent Flare lesson <coughs> if you guys are, um, you know, not familiar with it or struggling with it. Kratos, do you recommend very fast tips or stabs only with the middle finger and the other fingers are in the air? Uh, for me, yeah, I'm pretty much using just the middle finger. My sometimes my other fingers will 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 rest on the record, but all the the control, you know what I mean? All, all, all the weight is being on my middle finger. And 
um, you know, back in the day, I would just drill that all day. You know what I mean? Acapella, no beat. And I would just do that for hours, you know what I mean? Just to really, really dial it in. You know what I mean? Jambo, if you could do the three-click orbit flare, you could do the, Yeah, I mean, <coughs> other people look at it like a three-click um, flare, and it is technically fader-wise. Um, but I, everyone has a different way of looking at it. I look at it as going forward, it's the OG flare. Oh, we're talking about the crescent flare, by the way. So it's, you know what I mean? Going forward, just like the OG flare, and a two-click transform back. And two, three, four. Right there. All right. Today's lesson, <coughs> we've we've covered it, but we're gonna expand on it now. Um, and you guys need to be familiar. You guys, at this point, you guys should be very familiar <coughs> with the uh, Clover Terrace, right? All we're gonna do, and uh, this is a review, chirp into a Clover Terrace, right? So chirp. Here's the chirp. It's your whip, right? And then clover tear. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six notes total. Sounds like this. Oops. Chill whip. One, two, three, four, five, six notes total. Chirp. Clover tear. AKA two, four, two back tear. And just take note, the only time I'm using the fader is just on that forward chirp. Right there. The rest of it, fader's open, and we're just doing a two forward, two back tear. Try that acapella. Let me load up a beat. We'll drill this one out, and then I'm going to give you guys a nice little combination with it. Let's see what beat we got here. Ooh, that's fast. A lot of you guys this is just review is anyone struggling with this scratch right here chirp clover tear and we're, gonna, we're gonna start to speed this one up and that's when it gets really really fun chris cut says the irish tear yep that's a good name right there what's up mr dm how you guys doing chirp clover tear music in the house what up true any questions with this one we're gonna speed it up now true's good let's see how fast should we go let's see maybe we can keep this beat juice one so far so good dope So if anyone's, we're going to speed it up, but if, if anyone is struggling, 
feel free to just do the slower version of this, all right? taking a few attempts to, to really, really get it, you know what I mean, in the grid and everything. Mr. DM, feel hella good to hear a bar of this. First hit, free, eh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of these combinations that we do consist of just these smaller scratches, and we just repeat them, you know what I mean? And we want to add flavor to it, you know, you start to add more um, melodic elements to it by pushing it higher, lower, you know what I mean? Mr. DM says, not bad theory good that's a that's a dope combo thank you man yep series one is good but we had to step away real quick all good all right so so far combination so far is chirp into a clover tail and I, i'm still trying to figure out a name for this i was asking uh hubert what, what he calls it um we don't have a name for it it's like a chirp and a clover uh like a chover I think um, Chris Cut said the uh, Irish terror, maybe an Irish. I don't know. I don't know. We got we, we got to think of a name though. Oh, Peep Show just joined. What's up, Peep? Kratos is good. True Music struggling, doing it fast. Yeah, if anyone is struggling, like I said, just do the slow version of it. Oops. That's the fast version, right? So do that slow version right there. Just stick with that, get that really, really uh, locked in on beat, and then start to speed up from there. All right, so that's the first combination. Where's my eraser at? Oh, let me grab it. One second. All right, so let's just add on to this combination now. Let's just do this. Chirp. Choose it. Right. There's a fader click there. Clover tear. Clover tear. So we're doing chirp into two clover tears now. And notice, this is the only time I'm messing with the fader on that chirp. Other than that, it's all record from that point on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10 notes with this one right here. So chirp, clover tear, into another clover tear. So try the acapella, chirp, just like that. When you put it together, it sounds like that. Sounds just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten notes. Try the acapella. We'll draw this one out. Buddy Lee says, I'm going to assume we go in the reverse order. Uh, there's no order here, really. I'm just kind of, uh, well, this is leading up to a, another combination that, that I use with more notes, but pretty much the same <coughs> cluster of scratches, if you know what I mean. Chris Cut, I've been doing that same combo with one chirp and clover tear at the end. Dope. Yeah, this is something that a lot of people do, you know what I mean? Um, I think we just forget to uh you know move things around so you know <coughs> how we're starting with the chirp you don't have to start with the chirp you could start with the clover first you know what i mean clover into the chirp you know what i mean whatever whatever feels more natural for you that you're able to do you know what i mean to prevent any errors i always say do it that way there's, there's no right or wrong way you know what i mean all right let's drill this one out real quick I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. We're gonna do slow first. Sounds like that. Go. Back to me. Your turn, go. Speed it up now. One more time. And go. My turn. Go. So we're putting a rest in between each one for now. How'd you guys do with this one? Chirp into two clover tears. And just remember, we're putting that rest in there <coughs> for a reason for now. Let me know how you guys did. Ten notes right there that we just did. The previous one uh, was six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Buddy Lee did good. Chris Cut's all good. Oh. Good to hear that. 
All right, so this next cluster combination is going to be pretty much what we just did. We're going to start with chirp, close the tear. All right, that was the first drill we did. And then we're going to go into the second drill and combine it. Chirp, two close the tear. And then it's going to repeat. All right, which is going to give us six plus 10, 16 notes. It's going to fill up the whole space now. So let's do this slow a cappella first. Chirp, the first half of it, chirp, close the tear. Second half, chirp, two close the tears. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 notes. When you combine it and you get rid of the rest, that's what it sounds like. One more time. Alright. Just like that. Try that acapella. And I like breaking them up because... <clears throat> You know, if you need to isolate it just to make sure you're doing it right, I look at it as this is the f this is the first half right there, and then this is the second half. Sorry, this is ugly. Chip what? One, two, three, four. Chip what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's drill this one out now. Same beat. I'm going to I'm going to use a, a slower beat with this one. Okay, we yeah, we'll do this one. Nice and slow right here. gonna sound like that with the drills. I'll go first, here we go. Go. Yep. Yeah, feel free to use the fresh sound too. Messed up. <laughs> Here we go. Back to me. Go. right there how'd you guys do with that you guys able to, to 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 get that clean and get it on beat right there you guys understand that concept yeah let me know how you guys did buddy lee did good chris cuts 
Buddy Lee in the grid. Hell yeah. Arcus Swell. Kratos is good. Alf, thumbs up. Seasick, nice. Chris Cut's all good. So you guys know we're gonna we're gonna double time this. Let me slow this down a little bit more. And then I'll work up the tempo a little bit. Series one is good. So we're gonna be right there. Let me slow down a little bit more. Hugo V, no worries. Let's just give this a try. It's gonna sound that like that right there. Right, here we go. Yep, that's your turn. Back to me. Go. What up, Bear? See, we started out nice and slow, and then we started to speed it up, and it got a little bit more difficult, right? Just remember, as you speed up, as you start to really, really get do these faster double time, remember, record movement is going to be really, really smaller and smaller as you speed up. Shorter record movement as you speed up, you know what I mean? These micro movements, these micro terrors, you know what I mean? Not only is your record movement getting shorter, but always... I think a good habit to practice is trying to keep the fader as, uh, you know, the fader clicks as as small or short as possible as well. You know what I mean? No need to throw the fader all the way past the middle. You know what I mean? For me, I always try to keep it th at the most in the middle. Sometimes I'll throw it more, but at the most, you know what I mean, halfway. So just remember that. Mr. DM got it, dope. Juice one. All good, Juice. No worries, man. It's 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 tough, you know, especially if you're not that comfortable with the two forward, two back tear. You know what I mean. So if anyone is struggling with the clover tear or AKA two forward, two back tear, just make make sure to really really drill it out. It took me a good and probably a good couple months to really really feel comfortable. You know what I mean with with this clover tear, and I really it was one of those things where I knew I, I had to learn it. It was it was missing from my my repertoire of scratches. I was always comfortable doing the one forward, two back. You know what I mean? And I was okay doing the two forward, one back. But the two forward, two back really, really bugged me because I, I really struggled with it. And so I kind of just, I n neglected it. You know what I mean? I, I really 
just said, screw it. <coughs> you know, it's almost like, um, you know, you don't want to do push-ups or, or sit-ups. But it's good. It, it, it's definitely good to have it, you know what I mean, because your, your core strength <coughs> is there, you know what I mean. And, and so for me, the clover tear really makes your, your scratches um, sound very wavy, you know what I mean. And, um, and it, it adds a lot of personality to it. So, uh, all right, so we were doing one cluster, right? Let's let's do two of them back-to-back -back now. So it's going to be 32 notes now. So we're just doing the same <coughs> exact combination. Chirp, clover tear, into it. Chirp, two clover tear. And then it just repeats. We'll do that twice. I'll go twice, you go twice. Like that right there, okay? Let me put back the speed. We'll slow it down. Here we go. I'll go first two times. You go two times. Here we go. to me. How'd you guys do though? Let me know how you guys did. Um, and just remember, if anyone's struggling, you know, I'm I'm really just trying to push it, see where uh, everyone's comfort level is at. Uh, you can see me struggling too. So, you know, like I said, just worry about getting it exactly dialed in, nice and slow first, and just break them down into parts. You know what I mean? The first part is just the chirp into the, the, the clover tear. Second part is chirp into two clover tears. You know what I mean? And really, really isolate it. Focus on one first, the first part. Drill that out. Once you get that clean, then focus on the second part. <coughs> get that clean, drill that out. Then combine it. You know what I mean? 16 notes. And once you got that, you can get that and execute it nice and clean and on beat. And then double it. 32 notes now. You know what I mean? And so on and so on right there and after a while after you keep drilling this out 
uh, it becomes one of those things where you don't have to think about it <coughs> anymore. You know what I mean? And then once it gets to that point, then you can start to add, you know what I mean, more emotion into it. And that's kind of the steps that I take when I learn scratches. First, I learn an acapella. I learn the mechanics of it. I drill it out un until I could really, really <coughs> know how to do it inside and out and not have to think about it. And then once I have it at that point, then I start to add uh, more melodic um, elements to it. You know what I mean? The high, the low, adding breaks, um, you know what I mean? Speeding it up, slowing it down, all that stuff right there. Let's see, where are we at? Hold on. Where are we? Okay. Buddy Lee, you're going to have to work on this among other combos. No worries. Mr. DM, super tough. Private Peep Show, Air Scratch Champ. <laughs> Chris Cuts, last couple a little sloppy. No worries. C6, stumbled a few times but finished strong. Dope. Mr. DM, Mac Easy in the house. What's up, Mac? Yeah, so just practice it. This is homework right here, you know. And this is stuff you can do while you... Uh, uh, while you watch TV or whatever, you know what I mean? Just acapella. And just isolate first, do the first half. Really, really just drill that out. And then do the second half. And then combine it. You know what I mean? And so on and so on, man. Um, that's the only way, really. There's, there's no, there's no cheat sheet to this. There's no nothing. It's just repetition. And uh, after a while, it becomes muscle memory. You know what I mean? Kratos, but I have to concentrate like at the Olympics. All good. You gotta, you gotta concentrate in the beginning. You gotta stay focused with it. And after a while, you'll realize, oh, I don't have to concentrate. I don't have to think about it anymore. It just becomes this natural reflex. You know what I mean? All right, let's do a quick scratch, cool down. We'll use this, uh, we'll use a fast beat. Feel free to throw these in. Uh, you don't have to copy me, but I'll throw these in here and there so you guys can hear how I uh, try to add it to my flow. You know what I mean? Let's see, what beat are we using?
seven, eight, and start. Guys, when you all round of applause for yourselves, thank you guys for jumping into today's class. If you guys have any questions, you guys already know. Hit me up. <coughs> you can message me on uh, Instagram. Uh, but yeah, good stuff today, guys. Chirp into the clover tear, into the chirp, into two clover tears. That's today's lesson. Practice, practice, practice. Drill it out, slow, medium, fast. You guys already know. But uh, I'll see you guys next week. You know what I mean? Let me see. Not loading up. Thank you, Kratos. True Music, Arcus, Al Alpha Hip Hop Slam. Beer Slushy in the house. What up, Beer Slushy? Buddy Lee, Cymatic, Jam Burglar, Mac Easy, Peep Show, Bear, Seasick, Chris Cuts, Hope 1200, Hugo V, Juice One, Mr. DM, Rain Man, Series One, and Theory Act. Thanks, y'all. I'll see you guys next week. Be safe. Arcus hands is burning. <laughs> Grab a beer, Arcus. Thanks, thanks y'all. See you guys next week. Peace. Şaşkın dillere de